What's up guys, Guns for Newbies back here, and today we got another video, and today what we're going to do is we are going to get another upgrade for this guy. So this is my M18 uh, P320, so to M18, uh, as you can see, fire control module. So the way this one started out is I had a um, M18B, so this actually was a all black M18, and for some reason I wanted to modify it, went with the Zev Upper, went with the Wilson Combat um lower didn't like the zev upper had too many um slide serrations i mean it was literally open all over the place and made the gun recoil a lot harder so then i switched to the norso um upper that is uh ported so and i really like this um and this is basically my do-it-all gun i really like the fact that it has a manual safety um trigger upgrade everything like that it's just been a great great gun so today what we're doing is we're going to go one step further and we are going to do an unboxing of the AB prototype um, grip module. So what this is, is it is a um, safety cut AXG grip module. And so as you can see, this is the packaging that they sent. Come with stickers, receipts. So thanks and a receipt in there which obviously i don't want all my personal information out there so that's why i opened it up off the camera but nevertheless here is the fire control or i'm sorry the fire control the uh grip module so all aluminum frame and it actually has aluminum inserts for grip panels so let's uh go ahead and get this put on there and we will be right back so that way um we don't essentially get in trouble by the youtube um police so be right back Okay guys, so we are back and this is the um, semi-final product. So I actually really like this without the, um, um, and so we're, you can see we're clear. We do have my loaded magazine here, but again, we're not gonna cock it. So this is how it looks. Um, without the magwell, I do have the magwell here. I am planning to put that on. I just gotta go and run and grab a tool real quick. But I actually, weirdly enough, I really like it. Um, even without the Magwell, and I really do, um, you know, that was something that really swayed me is because I really like the lower profile Magwell that the um, AXG come, comes with. So as you can see, once you put that on, that's what it'll look like. Um, so we're gonna get this put on, but I do even like the feel of it without the Magwell on there, which is really something. So make sure I get my magazine over here, but It, it's incredibly well still pretty lightweight so i will we'll weigh it here let me put the magwell on and we'll be right back okay guys we're back and uh let's go ahead and get the scale out so let's see what we're working with now keep in mind the light's about two ounces so we will um deduct from that so it's like a pound, two pounds 1.6 ounces so let's see about 32 ounces unloaded. So a little bit heavier of a gun, um, but really not that bad. I think I want to say this is like 24, 25, something like that. Um, granted, there is no magazine. So um, let's just do uh, when it's fully loaded. Well, I mean, that's not really a fair comparison. So give me one sec. Okay, so about 35 ounces with a magazine unloaded. So I want to say the, um, and I'll have to look this up just so that way I'm accurate, but I want to say it's closer to 26 with a uh, unloaded magazine inserted. So probably about uh, nine ounces, nine and a half, somewhere around there ounces, because I don't know if it's 24 even, but, or, uh, you know, I guess that'd be 11 ounces. But either way, not a bad, um, you know, upgrade. I will tell you this gun feels so much more, um, I don't know. It just feels so much better. I love the way um, this feels. The all aluminum panels are amazing. Um, the fact, I mean, the manual safety works flawlessly. 
uh, of course, it's the black eggs you grip, so it's serrated aluminum. Um, they, it's, these are their aluminum grip panels, but I will say these are grippier than the uh, ones that come with my uh, AXG Legion, the P320. So, nope, oh, well, let's see, let's zero this again. Why is it reading two? Okay. Yeah, 35.5. And then keep in mind, we also have the light on there. So minus two ounces. So that's about 33 and a half. So really, really good. And just for comparison purposes, I went ahead, put one in the pipe, uh, full magazine, and we are reading 43 ounces. So really, all not all that bad. So that is about what a... Uh, Spectre Comp, or I guess the X5 Legion, I think that one's 43 and a half. Um, one of them is 43 and a half, the other one's 41 and a half. Either way, really, really good numbers here for uh, light, because keep in mind that's got a, uh, you know, that's a full full magazine and one, one in the chamber there. So really, really not too bad. I really don't mind a loaded uh, gun that's 43 ounces. I mean, let's just do this for comparison purposes. This is my um, Springfield Hellcat Pro. So this one's 32.8. So basically 33 ounces versus uh, 43 ounces. So that's like 10 ounces. Yeah, 10 ounces. That's literally a very, very good trade off for a gun that a lot bigger in grip um, and holds obviously more capacity. You're going to get a little bit more shootability out of it. Um, obviously, it's a little harder to conceal, but it's really not that bad because this is a much lower profile mag or magwell. So, I mean, I'm very, very happy with this build. Um, this is definitely going to be one. I'm going to compare this one towards the um, uh, Glock uh, 45. I have some uh, goodies coming for that that one. So just stay tuned and we will keep knocking out these videos. This is just something that I had a hunch to do and I'm very happy that I did it. This has just kept me over the moon. I absolutely love this gun and now I have uh, complete interchangeability between this, my XG Legion and my uh, P320 Spectre Comp. So uh, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next videos.